Welcome to part number 62 of Gran Turismo 5 A Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today it is time to finish my least favorite part of the game, the Gran Turismo Rally. Well, the beginner and the intermediate isn't so bad, but the advanced portion, ugh, I hate this shit because it's eight stages long and it's just such long courses. Oh, that's that your 100% win ratio. Did it spoil your 100% win ratio? But, I mean, these are easy because of what we're going to do right now, but my god, is it just... Ugh, I hate the the uh, co-driver so much. Hate it so much that instead of using the other two rally cars that we won, um, I went ahead and found these two group group B cars in the UCD. Found myself a Ford, Ford RS200, which is right here, with 88 miles, and then found myself a Peugeot 205 Evolution 2 with 63.1 miles. But first, we're going to be using the Lancia Delta S4 Rally Car, which was the one that we won from the Grand, the Gallardo Trophy, I want to say. Anyways, I went ahead and just tuned up the cars to make sure it's easy as hell to win these races. Anyways, you know, it's just, eh, I don't want to deal with this. I know this is going to be a complete cakewalk, but I don't care. It's Rally. You're racing against the time, anyways. And plus, I don't. Plus, the co-drivers don't give you good information, anyways. And plus, I suck at rallying, so. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you're gonna get. You need to hydrate. I feel you. You normally wake up at six thirty on the weekdays. Oh, because of school. You were thinking it would be hell on earth. What? Well, I mean, it is kind of hell on earth, but you get five laps. You do get five laps after all, and that's kind of enough time for you to get, you know, used to the car and stuff. Now this is going to be hell on earth. Getting the excuse out of the way early. Yeah, I know, right? Anyways, time for us to race on dirt. You bought GT1 and GTP, GT5P, missing concept in GT4P, nice. I am missing GT Concept. But I have GT5P. I have two copies of GT5P. Both from Japan. I have the spec one and the spec uh, the regular one and the spec three version. And then for GT4 Prologue, I have two copies. Both from Japan, one without a book, one with a book. Why? Because I got them for dirt cheap. All right, here we go. Reason why I had it on automatic was because I was testing something out with my controller. You have spec two, nice. I this car's a five speed. I am playing with the controller, so this will probably be much easier than when I was doing it with the wheel. Okay, that was bad, but... We have a Group B car, dammit. And time penalty. Seven right. It's hot. It's kind of cold where I'm at. It's not too bad over here. 1.1 second lead because Group B car able to close the gap whenever we get a penalty. You see, it's this section here. This crazy ass tight section. These sections that I'm terrible at. And that's another penalty. Oh, not that time? Okay. Who I'm jealous of in terms of Gran Turismo collections is Abstract Sky, one of my original subscribers slash admins. Literally, he got GT2000 from Japan, dude. I was like, fuck hell. Four right. Three right. Inside the stew. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That hot, huh? Oh yeah, you were at a barbecue today or something. You mentioned that to me. 
You see the GT flight penalties are consistent to GT Sport. I know, right? And no penalty. All right, cool. Three left. What was the occasion? Right. Did you get more cheesecake? Two left long. Oh yeah, because of what he posted on Discord. Yeah, I guess you can look at it that way. It started with Gran Turismo 4. Orange cake? What kind of orange cake? One left long. Have you ever had carrot cake before, Arthur? Three right. I'm not sure if that's a thing in Brazil. Seven left. Horseradish is an instrument, Barney. Two Horseradish. What am I driving? Lancia Delta S4. Three. Why? Because I have no skill at rally racing, as you can fucking tell. No, Barney, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Carrot cake is totally different in Brazil. Is it? Well, look at me thinking that America, that American fucking dishes are the same in all, all other countries. Mayonnaise is a toothpaste. Ugh. Fucking hell, imagine if it was. I finished second? What? Am I that bad at this? Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, well, I finished second. Driving a fucking Group B car. Oh, yeah, I didn't go all the way, all the way, all the way. This will be a cake. Well, it, it, it's supposed to, Okay, like, this is gonna be easy. It's a straight line. No, this one we should be able to win. Like, no problem whatsoever. Unless it starts raining in the middle of the road or something. Oh, speak of the goddamn devil. Why is it fucking raining? I was a second away. Mainly because I don't know the circuit. Well, of course you don't know the circuit. That's why the co driver is there. But I'm so used to like easy left, hard right, over crest, in before third. Shut up, sandwich. Five, four, three, yeah, make it rain. One, four, Here we go now. This party's popping. Show us your best moves. Something, something. It's so electric. Makes us united. And you better get excited. I don't remember the rest, Barney. That's all you get for today. For TMC's shitty singing. Six left. Oh, thank God. If I got a penalty, I would have lost. This is just a high speed fucking um, rally stage. Where's the breaking point? Ah, no penalty, please, 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 cause. Thank you. Okay, we win. If you lose this, I'm banning Ender. Well, I won, so Ender gets to stay. Let's see here. Carrot cake here doesn't have any kind of spices. We blend the carrot with eggs and oil and sugar, and then mix the flour and all the other dry ingredients to serve it with a chocolate ganache. Increase the gears. Um. Depends on the stage. If it's a if it's a um, if it's a stage that's very technical, it's pointless, Barney. But if it's a straight line stage like that, then yeah, we can ex we can extend the gears. Remember, all the rally stages are different. 
I think they're randomizing the advanced portion. I don't know. I guess after this stream, this recording is finished, which will be the stream essentially. See, like here we can extend the gears a little bit. See, here it makes sense. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Okay, maybe you're right, Rishi, but after losing the first stage, I... I guess I'm kind of paranoid because I don't want to redo this again. Did the leader just hit the wall? I don't know if he has noticed the, the arrow. Hey, Bebim. I'm not sure how you say your name, but I think that's how you say it. Hi, how's it going, man? You posted the recipe. All right, cool. I'll check it out when I get a chance. That's a dead conversation, Barney. You can't re you can't relive this you can't relive the halt dog versus sandwich argument anymore. That's for the Grand Valley 300 only. So when I do the Grand Valley 300 in GC2 or GC3 or 4 even, then you can talk about it again. Does a straw have one or two holes? Um, one. I'm streaming at one in the morning. Well, I don't know. Like, okay, so basically, I'll explain this again. I'm normally out and about, Sean, on Saturday nights, but today, like today, nothing is going on. Go to bed. It's 10 o'clock. I should be out living my best life, and instead, nobody wants to do anything. I don't like to meet new people, and therefore, I'm in my house, and everybody left, so I'm like, okay. I'll just stream. And plus, I did all my homework and stuff, so, uh... You know, all my schoolwork is done. All the house chores are done. I do clean at night, believe it or not. I gotta look at something in the house, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should pick that up. But real EST hours, who's up? Finish. We still win even with the penalty. Damn. Well, the microphone picked that up. Ah, shit. We didn't even see what the gap was. I think it was only a second because we. We were about what six seconds fast faster in plus you know counting the first three stages or something. I do, but they're all occupied. All right, Sean. See you later, man. You have a good one. You'll be my lady friend. Them being busy is probably code word for like, ugh, I don't want to fuck this ugly ass dude. Oh wait, never. I never said anything about that. Oh shit, I'm exposing myself. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, moving on from that. Let's just sweep that under the rug and pretend like I never said any of that stuff. Anyways, we're about to go out, guys. Did I mention the score has a horn? Three, two, one. Congratulations, I played myself. Hooray. Three, right. two left long. Fantastic start. Two right. And this is why I should never drive into WRC. 
360 no scope. We're still gonna win this stage. Oh shit. Easy, easy, e there we go, we got it. Two length. Two right. We're doing okay Two though. Two right. At least we got to recover somewhat. There's literally no grip, no there isn't. We even program this? Good question. This is why I don't like the rally in this game, because like... Like, Shamani doesn't even get used. And then all Toscana and Aizure nor Wand get used for is like... Time trials and stuff. Like, I missed the rallies from GT3 and 4. They were fun. Cheese it and I didn't even get a penalty. Nine seconds. Holy shit. Shamani, more like Shamani. Oh, I'm sorry, it's it's Shamanix. That's how you say it. Oh look, it's a Suzuki. If we can get on the other straightaway, I'm pretty sure we could win this by over like 15 seconds. Maybe. It's sham, wow. Well, at least I'm sticking with the Suzuki. I mean, if I'm this close to him, that should say that our pace is so much greater than the other cars, maybe. Did he just slap the wall? It seemed like it. I can't get close to him. Okay, we got around him by just cheesing. I wonder what the gap is now. The sector is up ahead. Alright, about to cross the scoring loop, and survey says... 19 seconds! Holy shit! We are the rally masters, boys. And totally not using an OPS hell car. Hey, we crossed the line even with a penalty. Yote. Oh, we actually lost time at the end there by cheesing it. We should have just hit the brakes. Oh, well. All right, next stage. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How are you? Okay.
So we now have a 20 second lead over the second place car. This is another high speed um, stage. I'm pretty sure we can at least do 30 seconds. Why is live stream so late? Because I can. You're so confused? Well, put it to you this way. It's my shitty commentary. And, yeah, that's it. But you see, I tell you I should never be in the WRC, but then I tell you I should be the rally, I am the rally master. Because then, I my confidence just boosted. Six right. But, wasn't OGA just, you know, OP when he won all those titles? <laughs> Point is, you shouldn't take what I say seriously, um, Nick. I just ramble most of the time. I don't know what the hell else to say. So this circuit is a little bit more technical than I thought. You know something to think about, guys? You know what it might be about the rallies in this game that I don't like? It, it, I know this isn't to sound dumb, because, you know, it's asking for a little bit too much, considering the fact that this game offers so much content. But it's the fact that these circuits are just user-generated. Why don't I use face cam? Well, I don't have to use a face cam, and then on top of that, well, the room that I'm in, I don't like the room that I'm in at all. It's not even my own room. I, I share a room with somebody else, and it's most of their shit around the background, so it it, it would be pointless to me because I feel like having a face cam gives you, a, you know, like a sense of identity, like... Not only you as a person of what you look like, but also the stuff around you. So, for example, Jimmy Broadbent, he has, like, his sim stuff in the background and badges from, like, the Gran Turismo stuff. Marvin the Gamer, he has his whole collection on the wall in his little streaming room and stuff. Me, on the other hand, uh, you'll just see a bunch of dumb crap in the background. Oh, and because I'm ugly. that That's the other reason. Maybe one day I'll use a face cam. Go to Florida. Anyways, so the reason why I don't like the stages in this game is because they're all like user generated. So like, I know that's, I know it's kind of a dumb thing to say because it's like, well, it's, you know, there's already a lot of content in this game, blah, 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 this and that. But it's just like, if I'm going to do these rally stages, I want to do these rally stages in like Finland or... Monaco, or like Monte Carlo, or Mexico, or whatever, you know? Lazy Turismo 5? I mean, PD were kinda lazy. Anyways, um... So, what is the gap? Alright, 2.8 seconds. Is Wisconsin dope? That's in the middle of the country, Rishi. It's like smack dab in the middle, so you're gonna have to choose wisely. Yeah, I know it makes sense to have them randomly generated, but at the same time, it's just like, I kind of wish that, like, we had some of the real locations, because 
you know, it's so badass when you play like dirt through, like dirt, for example, and you go through like. I'm uh, speaking about. Okay, maybe it's different every time, but the scenery. Like this just looks. I don't know. It looks. It looks like a Windows 98 game, dude. Like. like it's like Need for Speed V Rally or some shit. You know, just like. It, it just doesn't look good. Like, I want to be going through trees and stuff, you know? Like, I, I want their, you know, like, I want the danger aspect to be there. There's all these barriers and stuff, and it just feels like, you know, a random doodle. Like, if I drew just a bunch of squiggly lines on a, you know, on a piece of paper and just... Don't be dissing Windows 98 games. Well, no, Windows 98 is dope. That's what I grew up with, bro. But, this is 2010. But I mean, like... Right, like, just something, like, hell, if they had, like, you know, big trees or something, you know, like, heck, the thing that bothers me the most is just, like, it's a bunch of dirt and then it's, like, green grass on the outside. Like, I want this, I want this to feel like, like a safari, you know, like, if it's a safari, like, at least make it, like, a desert. That's mainly my issue. It's just like, it's scenery. Was I didn't even try? I mean, yeah, I get, yeah. Am I ever gonna get an Xbox? I have an Xbox. I have Forza 6 and Forza 7 for it. I have a 360 as well, and I have Forza 2, 3, and 4. And then I have the original Xbox, and I have Forza 1. I'm just missing Forza 5, and I'll have all the Forzas. With more chicanes? And I don't know if that's like a poor joke, or just like an actual, like... Like, like an actual uh, request. In all seriousness, because like... I mean, the thing is, is like, well, yeah, tight, exactly, tight hairpins after long streets. Like, we need a lot of that stuff, man. Like, why not? Like, okay, sure, have a dirt, you know, have dirt, have snow, and have asphalt. But like, give us like a hill climb. It doesn't have to be Pike's Peak. You can make your own. What the hell? Someone hit the wall. I wasn't gonna go and back out just to waste time. I don't really add anybody, Tyler. One right, six left. Mainly because you want to see me smack the wall repeatedly. Yeah, of course, Pike's Peak would definitely be appreciated. What I'm saying is, like, it doesn't have to be Pike's Peak, but if we at least, like, give us a hill climb. You know, like, give us a hill climb for the road stuff. It could be a mountain road. I don't care. Um, for the snow stuff, like, you know, make it open plains. Like, make it, like, a very open environment. And then for, like, the, for the dirt stuff, make it a forest. Give the danger factor there. Like, put a bunch of trees. Tight hairpins. After long straights and stuff, you know, like just whatever, anything. They are hyped for Goodwood. Here's my problem with Goodwood, Rishi. Goodwood is more like a historic racing track. GT Sport needs more historic cars that are affordable. Hey, GTSV, what's up, dude? The Goodwood Revival events? Yeah, okay, so like... I was thinking about doing something like that. Maybe I could talk to you and Toby about that. Like, you know, maybe we should do like a classic car race, like two, a 2000 GT, Renault R8 Gordini. Cars like that, you know? Do I have a phone? 
Yes. Everyone has a phone. Oh my god, I, just, I sounded like the, um, the Diablo uh, mobile port guy. He's like, what, don't you guys have phones? But yeah, um, we, we should do a classic car race when Goodwood comes out. You have some ideas? You can use the Gordini for the Nostalgia Cup? I mean, you can, yes, but yeah, it's slow. I know, it's like, a, it's supposed to be like a slow rally car of some sorts. Or is it eight? I mean, uh... the thing is, is that with Forza eight, I think they're working more on seven. To be honest, like because mainly because of like the fan backlash with all like the loot boxes and whatever. I, I think what Turn Ten's really trying to do is I think they're trying to make Forza seven a better experience before working on the eighth Forza. If I had to pick a NASCAR driver, well, who would it be and what number? Uh, what do you mean? Usually when you pick a driver, there's a number that he has. I didn't get the joke. Hold on. Oh. It's like gravity. Next Xbox will be a deluxe port. PMC number 69. Yeah, see, that's the thing too. It's just a grinding 15 to 20 million credits. It's a shit ton of money, like, to buy classic cars. Like, classic cars are ridiculously expensive in G GT Sport. By the way, GTSV, check your Discord. Okay, here we go. The final stage, and my god, look at that whole entire section that's complex as hell. You want me to guess who won the 2017-2018 NASCAR Championships? Well, 2017, Truex Jr., 2018, Joey Logano. Talking about Xfinity in 2018, you're, you're talking about uh, Tyler Reddick. Talking about trucks, you're talking about um, Brett Moffitt. You're talking about KNN West, you're talking about um, Derek Thorne. Smart, not really. KNN East, I don't know, because I don't really, I haven't really followed KNN East. So he's trying to like, because Tyler's trying to ask me who won the NASCAR championship, but he didn't specify which NASCAR division, which series. Okay, guess your favorite driver. Uh, Chase Elliott. Walk the Porsches. Oh, well, that straightaway was very small-lived. Oh, MTJ. Oh, cool. Okay. I don't really have a favorite in, in Cup, to be honest. I don't really follow Cup 2, you know, heavily. I'm more of an open wheel guy, but if I had to choose a driver... <laughs> my, my favorite driver is Dale Earhead 07. When he changed teams, you were pissed. Well, Furniture Row shut down. I don't think he really had a choice, dude. And plus, he's with JGR. You can't really complain about that, dude. He's with one of the big three teams. One of 
one of the best teams, if not maybe the best team in NASCAR. Mountain, do it for Dale. But anyways, um, if I had to choose a favorite driver, it might be between Kevin Harvick or Clint Boyer or Kyle Larson for Xfinity, Noah Gregson for trucks, anyone but Stuart Friesen. God damn it, Rishi. Two right. Three left. TMC offline, he's pretty good. Nah, TMC offline, I heard that guy's an asshole. Two left. Four right. Two right. Two left. And I see his number. No, I haven't. What's his number? Okay, well, we're still managing a 4.6 second lead. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> TFC offline out here soloing endurance events. Yeah, every single day, bro. Oh shit. Three right. Five left. Easy, easy. Fuck. Two left. I don't think it really matters at this point. We have what? Over 30 seconds of a lead in the overall standings. Five right. Two I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. I don't know. I just don't have it, man. I'm not too in before I lose. I wouldn't be surprised if I lose the stage, but I won't lose the overall rally, Rishi. Wait, that was a penalty? Alright. Thank you, guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not too, like, impatient about getting the thousand subs. That's the goal for the year, and we're pretty close. You have money on me losing overall. Okay, and if I win overall, then you're gonna have to donate that money to a charity of my choice. With proof, otherwise you're banned. Why don't I play GT7? Because it doesn't exist. One right. One left long. If you win, I won't have that money anymore. Then how do you have it now? I mean, maybe your channel does get more views, Zero, but I don't know. I mean, my, my... No, it doesn't. GT7 doesn't exist. There's been no confirmation for a GT7 or anything. 50. Finish. Yeah, I lost the stage. Jesus Christ, that... Dude, look at the guy on the right. Holy shit, look how bad he looks. And we win by over, by 39 seconds over the Impreza. A minute and 21 over the other guys. And a minute and 37 over the Suzuki that kept hitting the walls. Yay! We only have two more rallies to go! For fuck's sake. That only took us 45 minutes! Oof.
All right, time to move on to the Gran Turismo Snowmaster. Then I'll go back to the favorites list, and we're going to use this bad boy, the Pojo 205 Turbo 16 Evolution 2. Because Pojo is like the first thing I think of when it comes to snow driving. I don't know why. Let's get decent cash. The cash is really, not really a concern at this point. We have a crap ton of money. You know what doesn't make sense about this event? You can enter Group B cars, but you cannot enter the Toyota RSC Rally Raid car. That's the only rally car that's ineligible for this entire event. And it makes absolutely no sense. So as usual, let's go ahead and adjust the transmission for this car. Stretch the gears out just a tiny little bit. And let's get started. I think I forgot to turn off TCS, but that's fine. Seriously, what a cool car this is. Like, the standalone 205 is freaking awesome, but with, like, the, the wing and everything, man, this thing's a beast. Dream house or dream car? Dream house. Just because the dream house, dude, is like I live in I live in a place that's really goddamn poor. In all seriousness. And my dream house is to make sure that like everyone in my family, you know, has a place to live that's safe and you know accommodating and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So dream house, dude. Oh my god! Where would my dream house be? Uh... Jesus Christ, I cannot handle this fucking snow for shit. Hey, what's up, Jay? Why did you zig when the co-driver told you to zag? Because I don't like to listen. Finish. I think I finished last on this one. Anyways, where would my dream house be? Well, it would still be in California, Rishi. How hard is this driving a straight line? You drive in snow. Drive in snow and then come back. In this freaking game. No, my fault this card doesn't like to respond. Don't have snow here, sorry. Okay, go go to the swamp then. I did that on purpose to make the rest of the rally interesting. Yeah, that's my grand master scheme the whole time. Because I love doing this rally. You guys have swamps, but that doesn't really count. I love lightning storms. Wisconsin's brutal, I bet. That part of the country is typically just, dude, it's... Snow there is usually bad. Oh my god, I barely hit the damn wall! Five left, three left long, 
Dude, I didn't even turn, like, serious shit, guys. I didn't even turn the damn wheel. I didn't even press anything on the stick, and the car just went to the right. Maybe I have to increase the downforce or something. I don't know. Dude, this thing handles like, oh my god, this thing handles so badly. I guess the key here is not to go full throttle all the time. Six, Unfortunately, I'm not from like Finland, so I don't know how to drive in the snow. I guess they nailed it. Then I'm probably really incompetent on driving on the snow. Six, I don't think have kind of a long straight here. Oh god. Are you from Finland, Yanni? <laughs> awesome. Well, teach me how to drive in snow because fuck, I cannot drive in snow at all. You're from Disney World. <laughs> You know how dumb Florida is? Why would they open up a racetrack in Walt Disney World? Walt Disney World Speedway, give me a break. At least I'm catching up to this third place car. Oh, I won! Nice, I actually came back from that. Okay, how much did I win by? Six seconds, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm two seconds behind the leader. I'm gonna increase the hell out of the downforce on the car. Drive normally, brake earlier, hit. Or a bit, be a, a bit, a be slow, be a bit slower. Corners. Got it. Thank you, sir. I mean, uh, Ketos. Yes, Ketos. Smooth is the key. I'm not very smooth. Not with a controller. But yeah, I think it's just, yeah, just like Yanni said, I just have to be smooth. Or just, you know, break a little earlier and stuff, and what you're saying, be smooth. That's the key to victory, basically. <laughs> I actually don't speak Finnish, Yanni. Let's just try to keep it to, keep it to English only, please. Did you not get the wheel fixed? Um, no, I can't fix my pedals. I don't know why. Five, four, three, two, one, two, right. I also want to use the X button as a throttle, but no. Um, yeah, that's T-150. That's not a bad idea, but at the same time, here's the problem, Rishi. I'm almost done with this game. GT6 will not be that... It won't be a long game. Then after that... 
Oh, you just got home? Nice. If you want to hop in private VC, you're more than welcome to, Mikhail. Um, the thing with the T-150 is, like, I have a TGT. It's kind of pointless to get one for PS4, and then for PS3, I only have GT6 to go. And I'm planning on using the DFGT for GT4. I was just polite to say- oh, shit. Oh, I see. I... Right, but I mean... The thing is, like, it is an English chat. And, um... You just never know. Some people- some people can be just assholes, like... They try to cuss you out in other languages. Like, if it's some, like, crazy scheme or something. Uh... Thrustmaster TMX. Um... Nick? That could be- that's a good starter wheel. Yo. Yo, what's up? Good, just, um, got home, like, five minutes ago. Hey, how was the Hoonigan thing at Irwindale? It was pretty dope. So much sense, it's not even funny. Sell <laughs> Xbox One. Buy PS4. Buy T-150. Play Jesus. You need to send your car to Ardo. This is pretty fun. You Wait. Just do. But what is it? The the whole Hoonigan thing? Is it like burnouts or what? Burnouts, drifts, wherever you feel like it. Oh, as it's long as the you... burn box. Yeah, as long as you impress the um, the judges, it's all good. Or not judges, but you know the guys. Go guard. Mm. Oh. Um. So I. Don't know how to do any burnouts. I don't have a car that can drift. I don't know anything about style, style driving. So, yeah, I mean, maybe if I get you know the car I'm thinking about. Crash some barrels. That could work. Yeah, maybe. Did we win? Yeah, we did. Oh, so it wasn't like a competition thing. It was just kind of like a everyone. TMC's got no style confirmed. Fuck you, Rishi. Um, <laughs> it's basically just like anyone brings a car and just have fun kind of thing. That's it. Yeah, but if you could impress me even more, you might get an episode from Tony again. Oh, with shit. Your car. Really? Uh huh. Oh, wow. Okay, if you, well. And if, and if you do impress them, you might, um, like even more, you might get like, you, you, you know, you win. It's not like competition, but if they're more impressed, you're basically the winner. No, it, I, dep yeah. it depends on what it depends on what car you have. Like if your car can make so much smoke that you even the cameras can't even see it. Yeah. It really depends. But mostly have fun. Also apologize uh apologize to TMC and the uh, you know the whole chat because I'm eating right now. I didn't even eat like the whole day. So, yeah. Steal it! Five, four, three, two, That's okay, you're a tired boy. Six right. Two left long. So, early shifting because, you know, wheel spin, guys, in snow. But yeah, anyways, how's everyone been doing? Like, so far. Well, the only person who matters, which is me. Uh, good. <laughs> Damn, bro. I know. I'm savage. Well, a everyone except for Rishi, because no one gives a fuck about Rishi. Oh, obviously we're still bullying Rishi still, huh? Nice. Yep. Different day, same old, same old with Rishi. Cat girl sim racing lolly. <laughs> I can't complain. Yeah, I could be unique. Even if it's like like eleven o'clock, I still make rows as well. Got a big mech though. That's oh. awesome. Nice. Very patriotic. Hell yeah. So how's the um, rallying in GT Sport back then? This is it still bad? Uh, GT5, you mean? Um, 
Well, okay, so there's stage rallying in this game. I don't know if you remember when I was doing the beginner and intermediate ones, like maybe a couple, maybe like a month or two ago in the LP. Yeah. Um, the advanced portion I don't like too much because I feel like it's just so long, and then like. Like, the, the parts that I don't really like about this really, really show off here. Which is mainly, like, the user-generated tracks that I was telling the chat earlier. The thing about it is, like, I understand that having user-generated tracks, you know, gives you different tracks every time. And, it, you know, I guess it increases replay value, maybe, or longevity, or whatever. But at the same time, it's just, like, because this is just a user-generated Alaskan random track, there's no scenery. It's just dead. Like, the snow one's not so bad. I mean, it, snow is snow. Like, this is what I think of when I think of, you know, like, a snow rally. Just open snow. I kind of wish that there was, like, weather effects. You know, like, hail coming down or whatever, but whatever. But, like, the dirt stuff, it's just, like, if I want to drive on dirt, like, I want that danger aspect. Like, I want to go through a forest. I want to go through, tr you know, driving with trees surrounding me. You know, like, like, like in dirt. Like, any chance of, you know... Me killing myself is like high by making a small mistake. You know what I mean? Things like that. I just feel like it's all gone when you just have like a random, you know, random stretch of road which just, which is dirt, you know, and then with like green grass surrounding it, it's just bland, bland as bread. Again, at least a few houses. Yeah, Nick, aka Zero B, brought up a good point. He's like, if you, just add a few houses or something, like, you know, brighten up the scenery a little bit. And I'm not saying that, you know, we need to have, like, all these rally tracks or whatever, because rally's not, like, the main focus of these games, but at least, like, give us a generic, like, you know, maybe give us a generic, um, I don't know, Monte Carlo or something for snow. Give us, like, a fake hill climb. It doesn't have to be Pike's Peak. Make one up, for fuck's sake. Give us, like, I don't know, Sweden, or give us, like, some sort of, like, Hell, even, like, Oregon or something for, like, dirt stuff, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That, that, that's mainly my point. I know I'm, like, rambling, but still, it's just, like, uh, I, just, I mean... I just kind of wish that they had, like, you know, set stages. Because then, you know, like, it, this, this doesn't make the game look that good. Like, the dirt, the dirt stages just look bad, and, like, the graphics just look horrible on there. And I don't really care about graphics, but... Finish. I don't know. I, I, I guess I, I guess the point here is just like the faults that I see in this they really really show their ugliness when you have to do these rallies for like 45 minutes straight a piece graphics <laughs> I mean you said you want hail right you could just see spa with hail that's fine and that's like a referring to a joke about Spa this weekend having snow in your race day. There's something you don't see every day. I and know, every... that was insane, dude. Hail all over the track and everything. I think everyone has some weird weather this weekend. Super GT has some like rain and lightning, which kind of made it like a delay a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Arthur. Hmm? Oh, Arthur mentioned I would be happy with GT4 style rally. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if they if they had a separate like two separate rallies, this stuff, and then they had, you know, a Toscana beginner intermediate event, kind of like GT3. You know, like three races, one beginner, one intermediate, one advanced at Toscana, Eisner one at Shimani. I'd be that would be better usage of the tracks. GT6 it sucks because like Shimani is not used. Period. Maybe in like a special event, but that's about it. But um, yeah, zero beat. I agree with you, dude. Grand Canyon is probably one of my least favorite tracks in the whole series. I'm not saying that isn't like a Grand Canyon sucks. It's just such a difficult track that like, I suck balls driving around there all the time. You know what I'm happy about, Mikhail? I'm still here. I'm just eating food. It is the month of May. Oh, yeah. That's right. IndyCars. Hype. 
Yes, sir. And Monaco. And Charlotte, even though people don't really care about NASCAR, but still it counts. Oh, I don't give a shit about Charlotte. <laughs> eh, it still counts. I, just have a, hmm. <laughs> I suck balls, TMC 2019. Um, I'll tell you what, though, the only thing that you do suck balls is Rowie. And you admit that, right? You're not supposed right? to agree with me. <laughs> God damn it. The man who keeps changing his name. Stop changing your name, the man who keeps changing his name. Anyways, I've got to messing with you. Um, I'm telling the man who keeps changing his name to stop changing his name. Wait, is that a thing? No, that's literally his username. I'm cracking up at it. Now, anyways, nice. you don't have to miss these days. Get yourself a PS3, dude, and play this game again. But that leads me to a question about um, IndyCar. Good okay. okay. evening, lads. Oh, hi. Hello, how are you? Hey, what's up, man? Good. What's up, Dan? How you doing? I'm doing all right. How about you? Good. Um, good as well. I'm still... I'm just charging myself after my Finnegan shenanigans, but yeah. Alright. Yeah, I would have went to Irwindale today if I didn't go to work, but I have to make money. Yeah, meanwhile, I just have time. I just, uh, for some reason, by the way, I have me. I may have lied to my mom again. <laughs> oh my hey, god! Hey, uh, what's going on, bud? Because I told her I'm going to Long Beach, but I ended up straight, going straight to Irwindale. <laughs> Boy. I am such, I am such a bad child. Confirm. How do you I get mean, to Irwindale? Not... Uber. Um, training and Uber. Oh fucking hell! You put, you put the gold line. Yep. It's hell. It what is hell. Are you driving? I am driving a Peugeot two hundred five Turbo sixteen Evolution two Rally Car eighty six. Nice. Naughty, naughty, Mikael. <laughs> I mean, oh, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, by, by the way, Arthur, Daniel Pinkham, not Mushy. There's two Dans that are in this. To be fair, now. to to be fair, Dan. That's the only way I'm ever gonna be like, going to races if I had to be very sneaky. I mean, shit. TMZ knows I have a pretty strict mom, so. Yes, that is true. So yeah. Holy shit, our gap is a minute 17 now, heading to stage 6. And you and yet you say that you suck at Rally. Well, I'm Why? Using, I'm using a Group B car, dude, against, like, WRC machines. Still, lie. How much longer can that name get? I don't think YouTube has, like, a um, character limit anymore. They used, it used to be, like, you, you, you can't have any spaces in your name and stuff. Now you can just name yourself whatever. I can name myself uh, Jimmy Broadbent if I wanted to, or I can name myself IGN if I wanted to. Fuck, I, can, I can name myself YouTube if I wanted to. TMC YouTube. Yeah, TMC YouTube. Dude, seriously. You just me with your standard car. <laughs> seriously, the people in the crowd looked like they were taken out of a PS1 cutscene. Like, <laughs> fucking yes. hell, man. Like... How is this stage six? It looks like the previous stage. They all look the same. They honestly look all. Oh, here we go. We have weather effects now. You see the snow one? I probably say is. Uh, oh, how much longer can that? Oh, the name of the car. Oh, okay. My bad, Nick. Anyways, um. Yeah, we finally at least have like weather effects. But, I mean, the snow doesn't look that bad. Like, at least the snow is probably the best of the generated tracks because fucking snow is just, you know, open white snow as I would expect. But the dirt one probably is the worst looking. And then the Toscana pavement, the gravel one, it's just... Eh, it's just a road with dirt in the background and it's just windy. It just doesn't feel like it's actually real. Don't get me started on that Toscana night challenge in the Grand Tour because that one is a hunk of shit to the point I had to use a racing line because it's unplayable, in my opinion. Oh. About to pass the Subi. Nice. Yeah, if I used- if I had used the Group A or WRC car, dude, 
I would have probably been like winning by only like a like a handful of seconds. I'm really bad at this. That's why I started using Group B cars because I'm I really suck ass at rallying. That's why I don't do Group B races in GT Sport. Often. That's like your only weakness compared to like that against like against few oh, when it comes to me racing you. Back to the wall. Like, look, I, I I was on pole in Jimmy's lobby once. And, and I, I went and from like first to like fifteenth on the on like the opening lap. Oh yeah, I saw I saw that ending. Nice choke. Oh yeah, cause dude, I don't know Fisherman's Ranch very well. That's like the one oh, track probably. I don't even bother to drive on, cause it just it doesn't interest me. On top of that, I know my weaknesses. I'll probably pass you in the first corner. Oh shit, cause you know the circuit. So Scott and I is basically racing line and TV brightness on the max. <laughs> I want to drive the group, group B cars better, but I can't. Here's the funny part. Right. When, I look, when I look at the GT Sport, it says Group B. There's only one Group B. What the hell? Everything yeah. else is everything else is modern rally cars, in a way. Isn't it technically yeah. not a Group B? Isn't it a hill climb car? No, it is a Group B. Yeah, oh. It is Group B. Oh, that's right. It is. Okay. Never it, mind. Just, uh, it, it just looks like a hill climb because of its goddamn snowplow. All right. All right, two races to go in this shit. Only stage seven and eight. Oh my god, that's so old. Gran Turismo Rally 2010. <laughs> you sound pretty bo like, bored at this chicane. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not bored, like, you're not interested at this at all. Well, that's why I have you guys here to have keep me feigned and chat. Dude, imagine I did this like Sky Hurricane and I did like personal recordings. Oh, I couldn't even imagine. But I had like nothing. Yeah. I have like nothing interesting to say. Yeah, like if you did this like Sky Hurricane, it's gonna come out as like, Hey guys, I'm here. Today we'll be streaming, or today we're gonna be doing the Green Chisma Rally. But how important would that sound to the viewers? <laughs> By the way, no. Video. I mean, okay. By the way, no, no offense to uh, like Sky Hurricane, because you know he's a good guy. Well, no, yeah. it's, it's, no. See, see, here's the thing. Sky does personal recordings because he has stuff to say, because he's interesting. Me, on the other hand, I'm not. So I'll just sit there. I'll just be like, "Fuck, this sucks." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the only it, uh, the only game I'm doing a personal recording for is. Oh wait, I'm not even gonna say what game yet. Only Arthur and Mikhail know. I'm not saying which one. But I'm doing a yeah. I'm doing a project right now, and I'm doing personal recordings. And like, the reason why is because I actually have things to say. Cause it's like a story driven yeah, game. It will be my first non-racing game. Right? <laughs> Ooh, it's interesting. But anyways, um, so we can make this title TMC sucks at rallying. That's your title. <laughs> yep. Although for the actual Easy. video, it's a road record and rally in Gran Turismo 5. Hey, hey, I can get a world record in this game technically because no one's actually done a speed run for any percent. In rally. No, hmm. in the game in general. Like there's only one any percent, and it's not even a real any percent because the dude literally just does the GT World Championship immediately with the Mercedes CLK instead of starting from the game, from the beginning of the game. So he didn't do a full uh, playthrough. No, not not a full playthrough, but he didn't do like a actual like any percent speed run from the very beginning to wherever the credits are. Um, is that on GT4 or GT5? Five. I, know, I saw a speed run and someone managed to complete GT4 in like ten hours. Any percent yeah. or one hundred percent? Oh, that's any. any oh, oh no, no shit, that's any percent. Fucking twenty-four hour races. God damn it. Six right. Yeah. And he got the credits as well. 50. Nice. Finish. Yeah. Well, it does take a while because you have to get to the IAs championship. You have to, you have to do the beginning and professional races in order. Not in order, but you have to do them in order to get the world championship unlocked. And then good luck trying to get a car that isn't a LMP. And uh, he and someone did a speed run in B pit and B speak mode that took four hours. <laughs> Oh, nice. But see, I, I, you see, I, I am the master of B-Spec in this game because I'm the only one who, like, well, me and Rhino because we're the only, oh, maybe, okay, well, me, Rhino, and Cat Cool because we're the only dumb people to actually do B-Spec in this game for whatever reason. But at least... I did, 
I took B spec and GT6 and god awful it was bad. <laughs> uh yeah, B spec in that game is pointless because you literally have three commands. Go at your own pace, push the pace, and then push hard. And it's there's no interaction and there's no like development of the drivers or anything. It's just do this and do that. That's what I don't like. That's why I wouldn't even bother GT6 B spec, but GT5 at least, you know, like I said, developed the drivers and whatnot. That was fun. That was really fun. That was what made it enjoyable for me. Uh, again, B spec win GT Sport, please. I wouldn't mind B spec and GT Sport because the AI is god awful already, so they'll actually fight each other. Hopefully. Ego frag. Ego frag. Digital can be something stupid and make B spec mode as terrible as the AI and GT Sport. Here comes the here comes the true battle: Igor Fraga versus TL Lightning versus Fumichi Kane. Beast spec. Uh, no, uh, a, a, a beast spec championship like force wise would be pretty dope. Maybe. You'll but you'll but you would have to do it right. You'd have to do it right. Like that's difficult to pull off because like the first of all the interest aspect and the second you'd have to have like a really well developed like you know. You would have to basically build upon Gran Turismo 5's B-Spec mode, because this was the best one, arguably. We need to send you to the Kaz as soon as possible. It would basically just be like Motorsport Manager, I mean... And second of all, I haven't played that game yet, but I do have the game. Actually, I played um, some, ga some mobile game called IGP um, Manager, is that what it's called? I it's got like, think one of my subscribers told me about it. I don't like way back. I never bothered. Look at it because um, I just never. I'm not really interested in mobile games to be honest. Yeah, it's fine. But um, what it did is that I joined the league, and I ended up being the guys who raced for like two races ago. I ended up being twice straight up. Even got a triple crown on my on on the their second race. Basically, you, beer. You're gonna collapse luck. if you don't go to sleep. Well, Rishi, you can only go to sleep, you're legally allowed to leave if I'm not playing for 15 minutes. Which I've been playing for the last hour and 12 minutes, so no, you're not allowed to leave yet. What the- what time is it in the East Coast? Well, in the- in the messed up coast, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Heathens out there. <laughs> um, what time is it in the future? Nothing really, it's 6.21 on a Sunday afternoon, got bored of playing Call of Duty. I had a terrible bloody sleep and couldn't get to sleep until 3 o'clock and only slept for 2 hours. Oh by the way, I did send you a picture of the um, short car and that um, and Finn drifting that in the messages um, TMC. Wait, the one you texted me to my phone? Yeah. Wait, that was a stock car? No, that was the uh, pony get thing. You said, w what did you mention about a stock car? Uh, it's short cart. Oh, short. Oh, I think it's stock car. My bad. It it's stock. one of their. It's literally one of the Phoenix creations. Oh, sick! I think it meant like they got one of the stock cars from the school or something, and like it drifted it or whatever. I was like, that would be dope, but. Actually, you could make that. Just make a like stock car and then drift. That would be sick. Let's yeah. Do you yeah, know why? But I saw honestly, the Urban Dome, um, the, the school cars. I mean, they're fun to drive. I mean, I know that like, because I've driven one. But I mean, in terms of like actual like performing and stuff, they're junk. They're still stock cars, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, they are, but they're they're junk. They're only meant for like. Like I said, for the school stuff, you know, they're not supposed to be perfect machines. Thing. I'll still probably hit the wall. They give you just enough of the experience. You know, like, what were you gonna say, Dan? Ah, uh, I was just having like a one of my mates streaming on Twitch. Oh, you're yeah, not watching he's... my stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm clicking between both. <laughs> Good lord. Damn. My heart, I'm hurt. Anyways, guys, we win the Gran Turismo Snow Rally. 
by Damn over you. two minutes and hundreds of a second. <laughs> not even by two minutes and twenty two seconds. Dude, th that voice changed though. <laughs> I'm leaving. Don't man me while I'm gone. Ah, oh, shit. All right, ban Rishi. Ban Rishi. <laughs> No ban the no band or sim racing lolly. I'm still gonna call you lolly. I don't even care. Anyways, so time for the next part of the rally, the final part, where we're gonna use the Ford RS 200 rally car, 85. Time to do the sim Grand Turismo. Hold on. Time to do the Grand Turismo Tarmac King. And racing soft tires are eligible for this, so we have racing softs. Eight more stages to go, and it's a Subaru Impreza rally car, a Citroen C4, and a Citroen Serra. Oh, okay. So none of them are Group 3s. Uh, so who's Sim Racing LOL? <laughs> uh, LOL, um, that would be Rishi. Oh, yeah. It's basically a meme that we do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know he doesn't like it, but, you know, it's funny. <clears throat> you love this car? Well, this car loves you. Yo, you need, we need a bigger field and rally. <laughs> Alright. I'll be right back, I got dinner. Cool. That's why I forgot. By the way, talking about Subies, um, guess who ended up retiring at Fuji yesterday? Oh. A Subaru, BRZ, again, in Fuji. Back-to-back -back retirements in there, in Golden Week. Because they retired last year. Injured failure, too. Oof. Real, real unfortunate for the guys. It's starting to become a theme, really. Them retiring in a Super GT event. Damn. By the way, have you seen the race yesterday? <laughs> he said, whoa, 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 spoilers. And no, remember? I couldn't watch the race yesterday. Oh, okay, I can't say anything then. You could have used more sport GP, T, T, yeah. More sport G, no, TV. Could have used that as free. I could, but at this point, it's like, uh, I already know the button already finished. Because of Instagram. But that's it. Well, I'm not going to tell you the results then. Because I'm a nice guy. Well, you can. I don't. I, don't, uh, I have no interest to really. I have no really interest to watch a race in full unless I don't know. Unless it's it's live. I, I'm just like out of person, so I'll say this. Are you actually gonna go now? All right, later, Rishi. Yeah, have a good one, dude. All right, so All right, later, spoilers in five, four, three, two, one. Mute now, everyone who doesn't want to hear the results of the Super GT race. Go ahead, Mikael. So, I know I can't remember, I forgot the name of the team, but it's guaranteed, it's already known that a Lexus have won a, in their home court in Fuji. I think it's, oh, because of the Toyota factory is nearby, right? Yeah, so Scent won, and then in GT300, it's a, it's a GTR, yeah, GTR win. Okay. So, I, that's what I could say, and also... Good small finished P6, but ain't too bad because they had pre shit tires in the middle of the stint. And during that time, my uh, friends were convincing me to uh, get a personal sponsor for the team. So it might be a guaranteed chance that I might be supporting good small racing in the future. Oh, nice, okay. What they do is that they, which by the way, this is not a sport, but it's like a thing. Um, they basically give you stuff for a certain uh, tier. Oh, sick. So there's like, n there's nandroids and figur like figurines were basically like, you know, the figurines of Hatsune Miku, and then they have uh, shirts, hats, stickers, a die cast, um, yeah. all that stuff. There's also like, if you have like enough, you get like paddock passes for two, all that stuff. If you go to the race, I'm just thinking of maybe going for a good polo, I guess. The team polo for a good smile. And then I'll probably get the card, the personal sponsor card. Man, I, I would, uh, just one year, I would just love to go to the race. Preferably Suzuka. Or hell, even Oka I, Okayama, maybe. For oh. me, my my track would be um, Tiki. 
Oh, all right. Welcome back, Arthur. Oh, wait, Mutsuki's like best track. Don't at me. Yeah, Mutsuki's like pretty good. Oh, Citra and Sarah finished last. No surprise. Also, why is there an ant nearby my food? Get out. The god dot. All right, stage two. What tracks are you saying? Um, if we were to want to go to a Super GT race of our choice, I said Okayama. I picked Motiki. I freaking love Okayama. Ever I mean, here's the I racing. I mean, you know what? You know what? Um, Motiki has that Okayama did, which but I like Okayama as well. But but do you know what it doesn't have? I... The Grand Turismo Cafe. Oh, that's right. I forgot about. I forgot that was a thing. So, say, imagine if we go there, we could just chill in the Grand Turismo Cafe, get some good food, do some Grand Turismo, and then watch the race. Yeah, that's class, do in they, my opinion. Do they actually have, like, these setups there, or whatever? Yeah, they do. Even that's Thrustmaster, sick. even Thrustmaster are tweeted before. Oh, sick. Oh, so Arthur says did. Sugo. Sugo's good, too. It's pretty unpredictable in there, because of oh, rain sure. and... Stuff happening last minute. I mean, one of the recent good finishes was, I guess, the 46 of S Road, and I think one of the Lexuses uh, won um, against it, even though it would contact from the last few laps. Not the last lap, it was actually the final lap because of the rain. So, <clears throat> it, I think it was a good track. I think every track is good. Even Taiwan's track is so good. I just realized yeah. something. What? The track, uh, the this stage is damp, and I'm on slicks. Oof. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to be really gentle. Actually, it's such enough that bad. It's still slippery, but I don't know. It feels okay. Basically, I think um, Super GT has like the best tracks in back racing. Not gonna lie. I'm not even being biased, even if I'm not, like, you know, even if I'm biased or not biased, it's still good. I don't know, I, regardless, I, ha I have to go to Indy first, man. That's a promise I've made to myself since I was, like, 15. Right, that's true. I would, I would like to go to Indy. It's a beautiful track. Not a beautiful area, but a beautiful track. I said beautiful track only. I know people, I know people have, like, some, every reviews about the speed we are, well, the area of speed right around it. Oh yeah, I mean it's just like, well it's just like the Long Beach GP, like that part of Long Beach is nice, but like go a couple blocks up to the north and you're in the ghetto. Yeah, that's and where I live. Same thing with same thing with Detroit. Belle Isle, it looks cool, but then go away from Belle Isle and downtown Detroit, and it's just oof, it's just rough. Same thing I with mean, Sao Paulo, Indy. Nice track, looks like looks nice on TV, but. Can you imagine how bad the area is around it? Basically, not all the place is good for most of these racetracks. Not necessarily. Um, but but that's, that's just the way of the world if you really think about it, honestly. Yeah. Also, I didn't talk about Indianapolis. I think there's this one story, I think before the last, I think the last two any races, when uh, Scott Dixon got robbed or something. That was two years ago. And he, I think it was him and Dario? Yes, at Taco Bell. I fucking Taco Bell, why? Well, so, is when he got the poll, they were doing a bunch of, like, media stuff. Like, the whole entire day, and they didn't have time to eat. And so by the time that they were done, they wanted to go eat. Him, Dario, Emma, Tony, I think, or TK, I think. And no places were open except for Taco Bell, so they went to Taco Bell, and they got robbed at, gu they got robbed at gunpoint. But then they found the guys who robbed them, like, maybe an hour or two later. So they don't know how to rob. Well, they're kids. They were, like, 15-year-old kids, I think. Why you... What do you rob Dixon for? He deserved to get kicked out of Indiana, I mean, Indiana for that. I don't think they knew who they were. Of course, because, you know... Good they looks. wanted... <sighs> anyway, yeah. stage three! That sounds weird to say. Stage three, green, 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 boogity, boogity, boogity. 
thing about also Darren the... Walsh, I'm happy he's retiring this year. I hate his commentary. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you don't really. You mean he's good? He's a good driver, and he's a pretty good legend. The commentary, yeah, that's another story. And we could agree with that, right? Yeah. And then I'll be honest, Jeff Gordon's kind of just and but i mean he's not that bad like i've heard worse i don't think jeff is i don't i mean like okay maybe, maybe i know i'm gonna piss some people off by saying this but i, I think for compared to dale jr because dale jr is super exciting to listen to on nbcsn compared to dale jr jeff gordon is pretty like bland but at the same time he's not terrible he still I mean... gives some insight insightful info but what really bothers me is like I feel like he's a bit biased towards the Hendrick guys a lot. So if they get into an incident, then he doesn't really like point fingers at them at all, like the the, the clash with Johnson and Menard. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah. And also to look at this, but that's just I mean, in the whole list of memes that he's Gordon's just okay. Had. Yeah, Gordon is just okay for commentary. I don't think he's like great, but I've heard worse. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, at least he, you know, he knows the current cars pretty well. Right. Meanwhile, Dar Darrell Waltrip's like, how many years he since he's been gone before before he retired at um, commentary? Since, since the 20... 90? Early That's 90s? Long. Oh, um, can you do me a favor? By the way, good morning, Ramon. How's it going, dude? Uh, do me a favor. Read Arthur's um, message. The long message he wrote. He says, but races, I should something. Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, it's just only... It's it's only a few above. It's Where is it, though? It, just type it type it something on DM so I just can't see it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I have a chance to read it now. But races I should go to is my dream list. Long Beach GP, because of you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Indy 500, Canadian GP, Italian GP, Phillip Island Moto GP, Bathurst 1000, Sugo Super GT, Le Mans 24 hours, Nerver 24 hours. That's a pretty I good like, list. I think Nurburgring is one of those tracks that everyone should go. So, it doesn't matter who you are. I guess my bucket list is for for tracks is twenty four hours. Of, okay, Indy five hundred is number one. Twenty four hours of Le Mans is number two. Nurburgring twenty four is number three. Daytona twenty four is number four. Uh, Petit Le Mans is number five because Road Atlanta is best. I don't know. Uh. I know this might be kind of a weird one because it's not really a crown jewel of motorsports, but Formula Drift Red Atlanta would be badass to go to or try that for a D1 event of some sort. D1 is pretty cool. Um, Super GT at Okayama, the season opener. The, um, the Japanese GP, because I love Suzuka. What about, um, here's something, the huh. car. The what? Dakar Rally. The car? Um. I mean, I know it's weird, but. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to go to the car. That would be pretty cool. It's a little interesting because it's not like a race, race kind of thing. Yeah. But it's something. Uh, what other trucks do I Any want? Any WRC have? event because we don't get much rally racing out here except for Rally America or. I think it's Rally America, but it's not really all that great. Finland Rally. Ooh, that'd be cool. Which my my boy Matt race he he actually Matt does um some rally Wait. racing, really? Yes, when Rally America was still a thing, he used to drive an Impreza in Rally America. Really? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Good old Matt Kaufman. Anyways, um, yeah. On to stage Matt four. Ben hmm? At least we're at least I'm getting this out the way like now. Yeah. By the way, I actually have a quick story uh, to tell you, um, TMC. Yes, go for it. Okay, so before I went home, uh, I was getting some McDonald's, right? Walking okay. Walking to there and everything. And then I saw this golf just zooming past me as he trying to get to the parking spot. I was like, what the fuck? Wait, you saw this what? It's a, it's a, it's a golf, um, a Volkswagen golf. Oh, okay. And you could hear the sound like him just accelerating. I'm like, what the fuck? Was it a GTI? Maybe. Okay. Um, 
I was like, well, okay, that's strange. I mean, why would you do it in the street? Well, he didn't see me. So I went to McDonald's and I eat and then I saw him, I saw him got out and he went to McDonald's. I decided not to confront him, but to tell him that it was that it's that his golf. And he's like, yeah. He, and then I said, you almost got me there, dude. And then we ended up having to talk about what's the best car uh, imports or for imports on my side. German on his side because he got the golf. He's more of a German fan uh, with Mercedes, Audi, all that stuff. Okay. So we have like a well quick talk while we're getting our meal, and then I told him, "Oh, uh, do you want to get a phone? My, like, can you give me your phone thing? Like, you know, phone number? Because but my uh, my phone's out. So I got my notebook and I borrow a pen, and then he got me. So he gave me his phone number. I'll probably call him later on. Okay. So basically, I may have met another fan that's pretty rare here in this side of the woods. Your oh, first like one. Motorsports in general. Yeah, because he's also an FD fan. He even recognized my shirt because he he told me that he has a couple of friends that went to the um, the event. Oh, nice. What oh. event? Formula uh, Drift. No, yeah, Formula Drift and then Hoonigan event as well from uh, Arundel. So. So Hoonigan owns. So they pretty much at the speedway called Irwindale, like which is about like 25 miles south of Los or not south. 25 miles east of downtown Los Angeles, they basically like rent this uh, chunk of chunk of the parking lot, and they use it for like stunts and their regular vlog stuff now. Because where they were set up, where their garage is set up, is in the city of Long Beach, California, and uh, it's right by an elementary school and like in some ghetto neighborhood. And so where they were getting was a lot of noise complaints from everyone. And so. Long. They throw a lot of events at that uh, chunk of land now that they rent at Irwindale Speedway. Because Long Beach, while they are like, while they have the track, you know, street cars, they are being pushed. Well, the issue is that they're in a they're in a, a suburban area, dude. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. I think the one thing that caused them to lose their whole thing in Long Beach. Well, they still have the shop and everything, but they can't do anything because of that. I think it was an Aussie um, car that they brought, and it caught a lot of sound, a lot of sound, a lot of smoke. Everyone didn't like that. It was like an Aussie, it, it, heck, even they made a joke about it because before they announced the whole, um, like during the video when they announced the Ordo location, they uh, made a quick video, of the, like they did a quick clip of the car just demolishing the this, the garage, it's just smoke everywhere. Shit. And then, and then you have like a, like a sober music and everything, and it says, Hoonigan, uh, Hoonigan Dolly Garage, this, like this state and this state, and it says Aussie to death. Because that's what it is. It's pretty much gone because of that car. Wow. It, it was too loud. Well, so. I would say that, I guess, but mainly what, mainly what like did it. Dude, they're only across the street from an elementary school. That's the I biggest mean, problem. And, I mean, and they make so much noise, dude. And I'm not saying that's a bull. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing for us because fuck it, we love that kind of stuff. But you gotta understand too, like about the, the school children and stuff. They gotta learn, man. They gotta they gotta concentrate. They gotta study. And, I mean, and when you when, and when you hear while you're while you're in class, if you hear rum, 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 you know, like that's gonna be a problem, dude. I mean, they didn't do it during the school day. They do it after. Well, but after school activities and stuff, that that's still a thing. That would be mu if I were a kid at that time and that happens. That's my after school activities. Just saying. I'll probably even I'll be even be able to pass classes that way. <laughs> but that's my opinion. But um, if that was the case, they would have just canceled long ago, in my opinion, because they've been done doing this for like a year or two. Right. So if they would have canceled, they would have canceled a long time ago, but they now they do it now, which means I had to go from Long Beach to Arundel via train and Uber. Yeah, I don't like it. It's worth it, but... I ever have like you know something to like a car or something to go there and make it hoon and then break it 
men sent to the garage. Get my mom pissed off. Still worth it. Well, I need I need to get myself a car. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, what are you gonna say? Um, this is a long course. <laughs> At least we can stretch our legs out with RS200 here. Five or six seconds. You're faster than the first guy or fastest Wait. guy. Yeah. All right. Wow. So and hello. Up. Arthur, what's up? Now I'm doing my late night therapy that is doing deliveries on GT Sport. Nice, I'm just laying down. Three right. Actually, the, the tarmac rally isn't like the advanced one, it's not so bad. Mainly because it's, you know, actual road. Three yeah, drive. it's an uh, actual road. It was okay. And also the looks isn't that bad because I guess it's something that you would expect kind of in a real road. Yeah, I sorta. From the three, it's the least bad one. The dirt one's easily the worst. Scenery wise. <sighs> Besides, uh, oh yeah, by the way, um, what do you want me to post the, um, the, the pictures from Honigan on the Discord? Because I'm gonna do it now. If there's, is it car related? Yes. Nice cars. I mean, I mean, drifting cars and everything, but yeah, sure. Uh, it depends on what you think of them. Nice cars, if they're nice, rice, if they're ugly. There actually is a mix for some reason. Because some have two big fenders, I mean, from BRC. Some have weird wraps on their cars, like weird wraps, not gonna lie. Um, there's an SUV that blows two tires. Oh, no shit. Uh, there's a Mustang that probably won because it smoked the whole goddamn uh, field, or not the whole field, the whole area. Nice. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the whole part that you're talking about, the, whole, the part that you're renting, I think it's already been burnt to crisp. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Like, these guys have no jokes whatsoever. They're really sending it. So, let's see how this goes. Nice I mean, cars. I, would, I would too if I if I was paying X amount of money. If I was paying tra uh, Tim Huddleston that much money to rent his land to like do burnouts and stuff at Speedway, fuck yeah, I would actually like burn the hell out of the road. Oh yeah, and, and I think there's another car that actually was there. Um, it was a Takumi 86 livery. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm. In fact, I have a video, and if I could somehow put your repeat on it, it'll be perfect. Finish. Wow, this stage was only 40 seconds long. Yay! Only two Yay. stages to go! Let's see what pictures I have. Watch like the next two stages be like really technical and they take five minutes long. By the way, no respect to any of these guys at the burnout to bash. Either the cars we are not, at least they all burn throw cars down in front of the Hoonigan guys and everything. Yeah. I think that's like the one time I probably never make fun of a rice uh, person driver in track. Ooh, nice, nice alpha. Yeah, I was thinking about using the Stalin uh, overall because I don't know we kind of matches the name of the sponsor and depending on the use of the vehicles i can go 
a little bit more modern or a little more a little bit more 80s um, as I'm gonna try with the 80s F1 car. <laughs> I have a quick question to you, Arthur. If you need a card to burn out in the uh, wait, is that for stuck? No, it's not. Which it, one? It, whoever is third in line. No, it's it, it's just incredibly slow. It looked like it was still on the map. Six left. Oof. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's the Citroen Sarah. No wonder. Actually, it's not fair. What? That car was actually. What didn't that car win the title in WRC? Big Sarah. Yes. Um, yeah, but not that one because that's a bit tough front with front wheel drive. But I guess that's the one that was the last front wheel car to win a, a stage rally. With ah. you get it, Sebastian Loeb. Right. The goat. What were we saying, Mikael? My bad. Um, shoot. Uh, I have a quick question, Arthur. Since uh, since I went from from the uh, the event, um, if you have a car to do a burnout at the burnout bash at Orndale, and you're there, and you can pick any car you want, what car mm. would you use? Uh, a burnout. Um, you could you could do some burnouts, drifts, whatever you want, even hit some barrels if you oh, want. Oh, so for burnouts, I I would use a driver's head. Uh, what car? Uh, horrible joke. Horrible burnout joke. Burnout 2, the driver's head car. Get it. Ah. Uh, jokes. Okay. But if I, if I was going on to give a nice burnout, I would bring something from my land. A Chevrolet Opala. That would be oh, Chevrolet Omega. Later, we will share this car so you can see them. That would be dope. Did I really scare you, Nick? That has a 4.1 liter 6 cylinder. What do I want? Burnout car or like a drift car that burns up? Um, uh, I'm thinking MX-5. Yeah. I mean, when I see the MX-5s do their things, they're actually pretty damn good. Heck, for some reason, they don't seem to blow up their engines for some reason. Uh, Only two people... Well, three, in this case, I am seeing. The right. two that did... The two... Uh, you go first. Oh, no, no, no. Go, go ahead. I was going to ask a totally different question. No, you go. You can tell. Okay, I'll do my question real quick. Um, the only two people that actually blown up. I think one is an Infinity and then the other is a BMW. Alright. Well, I was going to ask you guys. If you were to compete in, like, Formula Drift, what car would you make from into a drift build? I'll start. Because that one Federico guy has a Ferrari 599 and some people have a GT, uh, R35. Some people have Cadillacs now in the series. And weird cars like that. I, I showed you the Cadillacs. I, you were surprised, are you? Yes. I would do a Mercedes. Like an SL500 or something. No lie. Mm. I was thinking Mercedes. I was thinking Mercedes. Oh. Because most people in, in, in like bad. Formula Drift or E1, they, they just do engine swaps. So like they put in like a thousand horsepower engines into their drift builds and stuff. Like like yeah. my like my buddy Matt Kaufman who competes in Formula Drift with a 240 SX. He literally put like a stock car engine in his 240. That cranks out like 900 something horsepower, so they don't mind to be go all crazy. Actually, that's almost encouraged to be. Monte Carlo, huh? Like, why you go sens sensible when you go? Can you go all crazy? That leads me to a question. What's your car, by the way? Uh I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about bringing something really different, like, as I said, for the burnout case, something from my country, because it will be like, hey, we don't have it here, so what's this piece of crap that this crazy Brazilian dude is bringing? Yeah, like, not a piece of crap, but there's this dude in the Pro 2 division of Formula Drifts who... Who drives an, um, a ute? Yeah. Which is pretty neat. Oh, by the way, the final stage mm -hmm. of the rally, and it's just the 
It's just if a I, uh, If I don't have any limitations about drive train and this kind of stuff, like I can swap whatever I want. I can get really creative here. If I have like all the money I could have and I could just pick any car I want to just change it. Do you know what I'm going for? And also com and also and also convincing the a certain brand. I hmm. want a McLaren P1. <laughs> what are we doing? We're doing the rally in this game, Emil. It's fucking trash. And we're about I to mean, finish recording and streaming. So. Hey, real Emil. Hey. Hey Emil. Because by the way, so seriously though. McLaren P1 is bad. I mean, we all know Ferrari Co has some crazy car with his Ferrari. What about McLaren? That would be a good. That would be good. Fucking 8 a.m. So it would be a very competitive fucking like, lineup. I think. Uh, have you said yours, um, TMZ? Yeah, I did. Emil, what it, was uh, it? Emil, it's called. It's called. Uh, this is the only Saturday of like my life that I've that no one's doing anything, and no, and every girl is busy. So. Hey, why not record something, Damn. right? Yeah. Damn, you getting all the chicks, eh? I wouldn't quite say that, but... <laughs> Bro. Actually, you know what also be, would be good, um, drift, drift thing? A high-powered stock car. I know everyone's been talking about stock car drift cars. What if someone from, like, some driver brings, like, buys a what Hendrick? What about a tank engine drift car? Ain't gonna happen, bro. Tank and oh, my. All right. So, prize is a historic rally car coupon. Now, hopefully, mm. we're probably gonna get a repeat Group B car. We're probably gonna get like a Lancer or Bluebird. I wouldn't be fucking surprised. Basically, no one cares. The end. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just me on the streams way behind to TMC speaking in the Discord. Nope. Well, the stream is behind? Well, yeah, the stream is gonna be behind. It's yeah. not surprising. The stream is always delayed by like 10 seconds or so. YouTube, boy. That's why you should start streaming on Twitch. I uh, ain't gonna work either. It's oh. always gonna be delayed. I want a Mitsubishi Masturbator. Awesome. <laughs> what? Wait, what is yeah. that? Bajero is Masturbator. That's what it translates to. Oh, I forgot about Ooh, that. Yeah, the Bajero. Bajero Rally Raid like, Car. Seriously, what's called the Masturbator? What? Yeah, it's translated as the Masturbator. You just you ruined know. my- You ruined my childhood, because that was my main car for, like, <laughs> the car. <laughs> Unless- Oh, you can go with the Spanish, uh, <laughs> safe version, that is the Montero. Oh yeah, God. that is right. Well, here's our car. It's- At least it's different than what we've had in the garage, who cares? Anyways, guys, that'll do it for this long-ass video. Next time on Gran Turismo 5, we're, we don't do any more special events. We go back to doing regular A-Spec events.